My name is Chantel Richardale, and I am a process operator trainee. I went to River Parish's Technical College in Reserve, Louisiana. I worked a lot of jobs, different jobs, just here and there. Um, like I said, I helped out my brother-in-law at his upholstery business. I worked at an alligator farm. I worked um, as a diving tender, just different things like that, just going mess around with friends or relatives and at their business, make a few dollars here and there, but pretty much I was a stay-at-home mom. When my son started the first grade, I went to college. I started going to college to be a nurse. And whenever I wasn't in school, I would help my brother-in-law at his upholstery business, put up awnings and stuff like that. So I had about four classes left until I was able to get into my clinicals for nursing. And I went, helped my brother-in-law do a job putting up an awning at this man's house. And he came outside and he started telling me about this P-TECH program. I never heard of it. Didn't really know people that worked in the plants at all. So I was really interested in it because it was, you know, they told me about how great the pay was and benefits and you know, it was something a woman could do. So it was between the spring and summer session. So I started, I said, well, let me try it out for the summer. It wouldn't, you know, wouldn't be losing anything. So I went for the summer and I loved it. And I never quit going. Nursing was so stressful. Um, you know, it was a lot of late, late, late night studying and I just, I really enjoyed the P-TECH program. That's how I went from nursing into P-TECH. If I would have stuck with nursing and not have chosen to enter the P-TECH department, uh, I would probably still be in clinicals in nursing because it wasn't, just because I finished my classes my prerequisites to be able to get into nursing didn't mean I would be able to get into my clinicals right away. So I would probably still be in school with a, you know, a couple of semesters left working towards my nursing degree. The people at Valero are wonderful. You couldn't ask for a better group of people to be around. Everybody's so friendly. The benefits are outstanding. It was it was just it was an emotional experience for me whenever I filled out the form on the internet and just saw the benefits that my children and I would be would have and me being 34, I don't think it made that much of a difference. I think when I was in school, I noticed that a lot of companies were kind of hesitant on hiring the younger, the, the traditional students because, you know, it's a high responsibility type of job being a process operator. So I think they were kind of hesitant on hiring the younger, more traditional students out of school. And me being a little older, I think that that might have maybe helped me out a little bit. I could say right now, at this point in my life, I have never been happier. My children have never been happier. We are just, it, we're content, we're there. This is where we have been working to be for the past few years, you know. I would, I would always tell my kids, just wait till mama graduates and get a job. Just wait till I graduate and get a job. And that's all they would hear. And now that I'm finally working, everybody just seems just, it was just this big weight lifted off our shoulders and I'm finally where I never thought I would get in life for me and my children.